You know, it's uh, for a stock that has been a 10 bagger since it listed, the recent turn of events are turning out to be quite a bummer for Polycap. Now, today's drop is the biggest that the stock has seen on record. The last five days have been volatile too, including the 9% drop that it saw on Tuesday when the reports first surfaced. But despite this, majority of the street continues to remain bullish on the stock. Now, 19 out of the 31 analysts, that is almost 60% who track the stock, continue to have a buy recommendation on it. The six each have a hold rating and a sell recommendation as well. Now, as of Wednesday's close, consensus implied a potential upside of around 14.5%. The number of sell recommendations have also declined for three months in a row starting October of last year. Now, currently, Jefferies has the highest price target on Polycap, which is at 7,000 rupees. That implies a potential upside of around 42.5% from Wednesday's closing levels. Now, the others among the top five also have upside potentials anywhere between 25% to 30%. Now, Polycab has been a 10-bagger, as I said, since its listing in April of 2019. The stock had an IPO price of 538 rupees. The issue was subscribed around 51 times, which made it the fifth most subscribed IPO of 2019. Now, in December last year, the shares made a record high of 5,733 rupees. Now, barring the start of 2024, Polycab shares have delivered positive annual returns every single year since listing, including returns of over 100% last year, as well as those in 2021. Now, promoters of the company have gradually reduced their stake in Polycap from around 68% as of September of 22 to around 66% as of September last year. However, what's interesting to note is that the shareholding of domestic mutual funds is down to a three-year low, currently at just 6% compared to a peak of around 8% in March of 2022. On the flip side, foreign investors have increased their stake over the last few quarters. FPIs now have over 12% stake in Polycap compared to just around 6.5% that they had in September of 2022. The last five days have also seen around 30 to 40 percent of the total shares traded being marked for delivery with quantities ranging from as low as 27 crores to as high as 650 crores. The street does not like uncertainty and that's exactly what's happening with Polycab right now. While the management has denied any wrongdoing, the screen is painting a different picture.